Hey, it's Automobile Reveals again with the, my next car, a 2014 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor, Ford Raptor as people call it. And the one, the special thing about this one is it's Roush Charge. So the colors we chose for this one is the white with the black accents everywhere. And these are the upgraded rims instead of, so they're the black ones with the bead locks on the outside, but they're not real bead locks. I think we're gonna upgrade them eventually. But the stock rims are silver with the black inserts. And on the root, on the hood right here is not the black option because we like it, our car simple. So we just left none of the body graphics on it. So it looks really nice and just simple. Okay, now for the front. So on the grill, it has big letters that say Ford because it's a Ford. It has some extra lights for the off-road package for when you're off-roading. And the nice honeycomb grill and some vents for the engine. Okay, now while you get a good look at the front, I'm gonna go pop the engine. It's a 6.4 liter V8. No, 6.2, sorry. It comes stock with 411 horsepower, but we just got it upgraded and it's now Roush charged, as it says up there. And here's the air intake for the big supercharger now. And the extra radiator to help it cool, because 600 horsepower is a ton. Okay, now I'm going to start it up while you get a good look right there. Look at the exhaust sound. There's a picture of the side. Okay, now I'm gonna rev the engine so you can hear the exhaust. Okay, now for the back. For the emblems, it says Raptor SVT in a really cool font with some cool graphics. Over here, it says F-150 because it is the F-150 model and then Ford right there. Okay. Now for the back, we have some stuff in there, so sorry. It's really big and it's really wide because this the Raptor is wider than the normal F-150, six inches wider. And on the top, which is why it's, no, you can't see up, is the tonneau cover. And we like that because it just keeps everything safe and it makes the truck look really nice. Okay, now for this really neat step it comes with. And right here, you pull this cover. That pops up. So if you're elderly or have or can climb tall things, yeah, and then you're up here. It's pretty nice. And then this is just acts as a handle right there. And then it's really easy to close. You fold, lift, and push. And then you lift this again. And it's locked. And then the tailgate is sort of heavy, but it's pretty good actually. This back. Okay. So the wheels it comes with are all terrains, mud and snow, I'm pretty sure, and pavement. And for the emblems here, it says SVT with some air filters and 6.2 liter, because it's a 6.2 liter V8. Side steps, because this is a lifted truck, stock lifted. And black handles to match all the black everywhere. And some black trim, or black um, side moldings for the wheel wells. Okay, now for the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna start it because it's really hot outside. Okay, so the air, all the controls for the air are on here too, but I feel it, it's easier to use this. So you just turn it down, then hit more. Okay. Okay. Um, this does get awful gas mileage because it's huge and has a humongous engine, only 11.4 average miles per gallon. And it has 17,982.2 thousand miles on it. So not too bad, it's from 2014, so it's actually pretty good. Um, the control here, I feel the buttons are a little bit harder to use than normal cars. You have to push pretty hard. And just, there's an example. A lot of the times it thinks you're pressing something else than what you are, which can be really annoying. So it has vents in the seats, air conditioner seats, and heated seats, which I really like for hot days or cold days. And 
you can hook up your phone on this for Bluetooth, which is really nice for on the go driving if you need a call. This has the off road mode package because it is the off road vehicle. So you click this and it's hill descent. It makes so when you go downhill, your car doesn't squiggle everywhere and it slows it down. These gauges you can hook up to stuff on the car, so a light bar, a winch, backlights, whatever you want. We have nothing hooked up to them right now, so they're just random buttons. I don't know what we would do with them. The four-wheel drive gauge, it does have a locking rear differential, two high, four high, and four low. Um, the gauge is up here, really easy to read, and pretty simple. And the um, cluster right here is easy to use. Just buttons on the steering wheel right here and right here. And right here we have the window locks. You can lock them or unlock them. Back windows, front windows, which are automatic, which is really nice. Locking the car, unlocking the car and locking the car. And right here, since it has the supercharger, this shows how much boost and PSI you're making. So that's really cool, they added that. And the air still comes out of this vent, which is really the seats are super comfortable, like comfort more comfortable than at your average car. Really soft materials, like it's really soft. It says Raptor on there because it is a Ford Raptor. And they have cloth accents, which is really nice, and the holes in it, which is a really nice pattern, even though it's just for the air conditioning and the heated seats. Really nice and padded headrests for comfy long rides. And now for the center console. The console is really big and holds a ton of stuff. Here's a little tray. You can put your coins right here, really nice. That just slides right in, like that. You can put a phone here, um, or MP3 player, um, pens. It's They have a lot of neat stuff to you to hook your stuff on. The two cup holders here for the back seats, and the two cup holders here for the front seats. And this is just an area to put stuff in. Doesn't really hold a lot, should have made it bigger. They have this random piece right here blocking half of it, which I should have taken out. And here is a 12 volt charger right there for charging your phone. The back seats are humongous. I can't even explain how big they are. And since it's six inches wider than an average car, there's so much space for the middle person and for the sides. And I can put my legs out all the way and the seat is very far back. And this seat is all the way far back and just look how much leg room there is, it's insane. And same for the middle person, even though there is, this comes out more than the seats, still plenty of room more than what you would need. And it's probably the biggest back I've ever been in on a car besides a limo or a tank probably. So, but there is no center armrest, which is pretty disappointing. You can't rest your arm anywhere, but there is chargers back here. Um, uh, the one that doesn't have the prongs and one that does. And the vents right here aren't very strong, but they do work eventually. They just have to build up and seat pockets, which are pretty roomy. And you have little pockets on the sides, your window control and speakers and a cup holder down here too if you need extra and there's storage in the doors. The back window is very neat. It's automatic sliding rear window. There it is. It opens if it's getting stuffy or you just want to look outside and it's really nice because it's automatic. Super fast too. The steering wheel has a red piece of leather wrapped around right here for when you're off-roading and it is there for so you know where the center of the wheel is because if you're paying attention to where you are and if you see that bright red thing you know you're going straight or you know where you're turning it's nice for off-roading okay now we're going for a test drive and the exhaust is really loud for the upgrade and it sounds really nice because it's not too high pitched so it's just a low rumble but it's really nice and this car can go super fast now but we're going to stay to the speed limit and um because of the supercharger because it has 600 horsepower instead of 411 on the average Raptor and it drives very smoothly and um, seats are comfortable suspension is soft for the off-roading part and overall it's just a really good ride and the windows you can see out of every angle 